Eight more of the same day, but we do have some changes on the way. The heat will get worse before it gets better. I think it will be at its peak tomorrow, and we do have some storms possible as a result of it. Temperatures across the state starting off much like the past couple of mornings, right around 60 degrees. Again, the humidity doesn't look horrible today. There will be just enough to make it feel a few degrees warmer, and I think our warmest readings today will occur along the western border of the state. Just to the west of this, lots of heat advisory in effect. I think those will go into effect for central Iowa tomorrow as it will feel like the triple digits in the peak heating of the day. So just be mindful. It's definitely going to be memorable tomorrow. You want to find some air conditioning. We do have some showers and thunderstorms popping up along the western border of the state. This is where they will stay, but some thunder and lightning, a brief downpour just to the west of Corning, south of Atlantic this morning. Those will stay closer to Highway 71 and along the Missouri border this morning. This is extremely isolated at this point. We'll see another shot here tonight and then tomorrow. This will be the focus for the area of concern for all modes of severe weather. The southern border of the state has a low risk early on Friday. So lots of sunshine again today and then overnight a few stray storms popping up and these will be fast moving. Not a lot of rainfall. Unfortunately, our strongest storms will hit late in the day on Thursday and these are the areas we'll be watching closely for the potential for some of these storms to turn severe. I'm seeing some of our worst storms around Dubuque and along that eastern border of the state. And then on Friday, things calm back down. It won't be as hot or as humid, but it's still going to be above average. And throughout the weekend, it looks beautiful on Saturday with some needed rainfall on Father's Day early in the day and again late Sunday into early Monday. And this is when I'm seeing the heaviest move through. But as you can see, it still looks spotty in nature. We're at 66 degrees right now in east southeast wind at 10 this afternoon. Highs will climb to around 91. That's where we got yesterday. That's where we'll get again today. Tonight, a few clouds and a low of 71. Again, there will be some stray storms overnight. And then tomorrow, the high heat and noticeable humidity will make it feel like 100. We'll break a record high on Thursday. On Friday, sunny 91. On Saturday, partly sunny 87. On Father's Day, scattered storms 87. And on the first full day of summer. It looks beautiful. Partly sunny 76 on Tuesday, sunny 78. If we're not going to get any rain, we at least need a break from the high heat, but this is definitely stressing our crops out, but making kids who are making some fun summer plans outdoors extra happy. So there's a love hate relationship with this high heat and dry conditions. Today's weather rating is a nine.